Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is January 1st, 2015. Happy New Year, everyone. We're here today in Bluffton in the golf community, Hampton Hall. It's on Buckwalter Parkway in Bluffton, and we're here to preview this uh, really beautiful house, 65 Shelburne Street. It's a very large house. It's the largest house for sale in Hampton Hall today with 4,126 square feet. It has five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, two and a half car garage. It has a beautiful back deck. It has a bonus area, kind of like a second floor living room. You'll see it for yourself when we walk through. One of the bedrooms is that suite that you see over the garage there with the balcony. You have your master bedroom on the first floor, back left in the house. You have then four bedrooms on the second floor plus the bedroom over the garage. The bonus area with a balcony looking out over to a big water and golf course view. It's really gonna be a pleasure showing you this house today, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, a house of this size is going to most generally be for a family. It's a big family home. It's listed for $739,000. With my friends over at Charter One Realty and Marketing, I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 39 years of Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience. Before we go in, let's just look around the neighborhood here in Hampton Hall, a community of higher end luxury homes with outstanding recreational amenities that include an indoor heated swimming pool, outdoor zero edge entry pool, hard true tennis courts, hard tennis courts, basketball court, playground. Uh, they do play bocce here, you have bocce courts. You have a very large clubhouse uh, with a dining room and uh, meeting rooms. Uh, you have a state of the art fitness center all of that in the center of the community. This is really a beautiful place to live, ladies and gentlemen. It's for people who want the best of everything, but don't wanna pay the very highest country club community prices. The annual HOA here is $3,606 per year. That includes all of the amenities that I just mentioned to you, including, of course, a 24-hour guarded security gate. Uh, it does not include the private golf club membership. They have here in Hampton Hall a Pete Dye private golf course and that a membership to that is optional and that's one reason why people like Hampton Hall is because many of you of course want luxury but not necessarily to include mandatory golf and which comes with a high price for those of you who who do uh, want the mandatory golf truthfully in, in Hampton Hall here it's not that much golfers know uh, I won't go into the membership uh, details and all that but I'll be happy to refer you and to hear from you in general about uh, this home or any other that may be of interest to you in the Hilton Head and Bluffton area. Uh, again, I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 39 years of Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience. It just doesn't cost anything more to have a buyer's agent on your side, ladies and gentlemen, because the fee that I earn is already in the price of every listed property. Every listed property, of course, has an agent that represents the seller. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's what you would expect. But you do have a right to have an agent represent you, and that person would be a buyer's agent. My fee is already in the price of the property, so it costs you nothing more. Well, if you have questions about that, please let me know. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company is Go Gated Realty as in gated communities. And I'm the gated communities specialist, ladies and gentlemen. And both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. Well, let's take a look at this house, starting with the concrete driveway with plenty of area for your car to turn and go into a two-car garage. This home has outstanding curb appeal. It has uh, vinyl clad windows and doors. It has guttering, it has uh, interior flat mullions in your dual glazed windows. The windows are shuttered. You have uh, a covered front door and beautiful carriage lights next to the door and beside the garage. 
Well, let's go on in and take a look, see if this house could possibly be for you. It is on slab, meaning a concrete uh, base. You just step up a couple of these brick stairways, a couple of brick stairs rather, onto your front porch, and in we go. Well, our entrance has a wood foyer hallway, a very open entrance into the living room, immediately into the living room, and straight through with a view of the lake and the golf course out back. We'll take a closer look at that in just a minute. First, I just wanna take in the beautiful entrance to this house, the living room with the coffered ceiling, the fireplace immediately to the left. We have some built-in cabinets to the left. We have a wood foyer entry and a foyer hallway that opens immediately to our dining room to the right. Very open and informal plan. This is the way we live in the Hilton Head area. We have flat ceilings, we have crown molding, and we have a big open kitchen with granite countertops and uh, an Eden uh, kitchen, Eden breakfast area there to the back right on the house in the far left of the picture. As we come through the living room, your focal point is outside to the beautiful golf course view. The back porch, the very uh, big view out across the Pete Dye golf course, the big sky and the pond. Very quiet out here. The location is very convenient for just about everything. And you know, Hampton Hall here in Bluffton is midway between Hilton Head Island, Savannah, Georgia, and Buford, South Carolina, which is, we're in Buford County, that's our county seat. Well, here's a look back towards the, uh, the entryway. And let's just take a closer look at the fireplace here. It, it is a wood-burning fireplace, but it's rigged up with gas logs, which really in Hampton Hall is propane. There is a propane tank outside. Lovely work, woodworking there with the uh, sawtooth detail on the mantel and a ceramic tile surround. And again, that'll burn the gas logs during the wintertime. You know, the fireplaces in our climate, ladies and gentlemen, it's optional. We have a semi-tropical climate here in Bluffton, South Carolina and the Hilton Head area. And that means that we have very long summers and springs and falls. We have very brief, mild winters. But for some people, having a fireplace makes a house a home. Many people come down from up north, of course, and that's just the way that uh, they like it. Well, you have that here in this house. And now on this side is your master bedroom. So you come into your house and to the left through these double doors. And we do have panel doors throughout with lever handles. We enter into our master suite. Immediately to the left is our master bathroom. We have ceramic tile laid diagonally. The focal point as we come in is our soaking tub in front of a, a big double casement window. Now, the furniture in this house, by the way, is not included. All the decorations that you see are what are called staged. The house is sold unfurnished, but the uh, owner and the agent have uh, included staging here for us to envision, help us to envision what your decorations and your furniture will look like, how they'll fit into the house. So we appreciate that. Now you have his and her vanities with the granite countertops here, so the quality goes throughout this home. And you have the under-mounted porcelain sink. You have a raised panel maple cabinets with the brushed metal pulls, all combining to make for a very attractive combination of materials and colors. And we see more of the same on her side, and I say her side because this side has a little dressing table. Many of you ladies like to have that. And you have fixed wall mirrors behind. Those mirrors, of course, 
allow you to see yourself clearly and to bounce the light around giving you a light and bright bathroom. And that's what so many of my buyers want, is they want light and bright, open and new, or almost new. Now here's your uh, shower with the tile surround, the framed door, and that fixture just overhead there is what's called a rain head. Kind of like taking a shower under a waterfall. Uh, it's great. If you haven't done that, well, a lot of our Hilton Head homes, especially the luxury homes, are equipped with those. And they're great. It makes the shower fun. Our uh, commode is in the water closet, which is in here. Many Hilton Head uh, commodes are in their own little closet. I call that a water closet. There it is. And then continuing on through the rest of the suite, we have our walk-in closet here to the left, and there's actually two of them. Now, someone is storing some things. This house is unoccupied, but someone is storing some of the decorations and things here in the closet. But you can see it's a very large closet. It uses double pocket doors, which means you don't have a swinging door getting in your way, taking up space. But at the same time, you can close that off if you want. And then right across the hallway here, we have another closet. So we do have his and her closets. This one's a little bit smaller, but I think big enough for most people. So good closet space in this master bedroom suite. And this master bedroom is a beauty. It's uh, a big room. You can see from the staging that there's plenty of room here for a king size bed and end tables. And even enough room for a sitting area next to your window. The door to the right leads out to the porch that we've already seen. And this view is again of the water and the golf course. Very pleasant all year round, even here in the winter on January 1st. Very pleasant, very pleasant. Well, let's just take a look back. This is our master bedroom, ladies and gentlemen. Crown molding throughout. And you have windows all around this room giving you good light. It's late in the afternoon here on January 1st. It's about 3.20 in the afternoon. You have another closet here. I won't open the door and go into every closet, but there's wire shelving in there and uh, it's great to have all of this storage. Here's our foyer again with the dining room. The stairway straight ahead to the second floor. We're going to go up there shortly. And let's just continue on over to the front part of the house here. And as we turn the corner, we have a half bathroom with the pedestal ceramic sink, hanging wall mirror with a couple of sconce lights. Very stylish. And our commode, the high baseboard, the window all combining for a beautiful powder room or half bathroom. Just means it doesn't have a tub and a shower, it's just for your guests. Once again, a good use of the pocket door there. I like that. Our wood floor ends as we head towards the garage and it becomes a tile floor, which we also had tile in that uh, half bathroom as well. Now this is our laundry room. Our washer and dryer is not included. That'll go on the right side here where the window is between the cabinets. And we have a Corian counter there. We have a good sized closet here to our left. I would categorize this as just a medium sized laundry room. And then out to the garage. This is the way you would probably come and go from the house at most times. Most people come into the garage and then they enter in through their garage door to the kitchen area. And that's what this house does. It provides you to go over there to the kitchen side of the house and our third bay over there for your golf cart or just extra storage if you're not a golfer is to the back of the garage. Some architects like that. You have the automatic door opener, which is pretty standard. And this is what is called a finished garage, meaning it's all sheetrocked and painted, just like a living space, but of course it's not heated or cooled. It does have a ceiling fan though, <laughs> and I like that too. 
Uh, the floor is uh, painted enamel. That's also a plus. It washes up better and is better than just uh, raw concrete. This house being on a concrete slab overall, which makes a good solid base to the house, good flat surface and uh, no crawl space underneath this house for uh, so forth. And so the uh, insulation, if you will, the earth and the ground is your, is your best insulator and that's what you have in this house. So we're standing in the laundry, coming from the garage, our half bathroom here to the right, stairway to the right and kitchen straight ahead. Let's go in the kitchen before we go upstairs. We have stainless steel appliances. It's the Gen Air brand. We have a beautiful saddle brown, sometimes called saddle brown, maple cabinets with beautiful brushed metal pulls and handles. Uh, lots of granite countertop in this house. This is your breakfast bar. The new way of doing it is not to have the two levels, but to have everything on one level. And that's the way the builders are building them these days. Now this house is not brand new. It was built in 2004, but that's one feature that uh, it could have been built right away because really this has the latest styles that we see in homes. And with the open floor plan, beautiful transom windows over those uh, living room doors and windows, letting in light, high ceilings, Again, here's the breakfast area with the view of the water and the golf. And your ceramic topped Gen Air range is here with the downdraft exhaust. The granite continues around. And we have a double stainless sink with your double casement window over that sink, giving you light more granite, beautiful cabinets, and our Gen Air stainless steel refrigerator <laughs> with, my, with my reflection <laughs> in there somewhere. <laughs> and the wood floor is beautiful. Many of you love wood, wood and tile. I would say the preference is generally for wood. Well, you have that in this kitchen, in the breakfast area, in the foyer hallway, and in our dining room. The living room is carpeted, the bedrooms are carpeted. Well, let's go upstairs and take a look at this very interesting second floor. Big window here on the stairway, bringing in lots of light, very well illuminated stairway. And our first stop is gonna be this bedroom over the garage, we'll call it the second bedroom. It has a private bath. Could be a game room or an office for many people, but it's a bona fide bedroom because it has this beautiful bathroom and it has closet space. This is really a beautiful cultured marble countertop here with the integral basin. Cultured marble is a man-made product, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not familiar with it, it's a uh, resin mixed with quartz dust. It's in the finest homes in the area. It's very durable, it looks like marble. Not inexpensive and uh, very, very popular. We have a skylight in this bathroom, bringing lots of light in here. And we do have a shower with a tile surround, metal frame door and panel here to our right. This is our second bedroom bathroom. It's good size, good quality. We have closets to the left we have closets to the right. We won't poke into every one of those, but wire shelving in there, very attractive doors. Here is our second bedroom with a sculpted ceiling. We're over the garage. We have a pair of uh, windows, casement windows there at the front. And then to the side facing the driveway, we have actually a pair of doors giving out to a more of an architectural balcony for looks rather than real function. The doors do open though, they're very attractive. Uh, there's no lights on in this room, so you're getting just the natural light here at uh, oh, 3.30 in the afternoon on January 1st. 
Now, these <laughs> you may wonder, was I too lazy to turn on the lamps? Well, no, I'm not. Uh, as many of the lamps when you stage a house don't have bulbs in them, <laughs> so there's nothing to turn on. If you see a lamp that's been turned on, it's because it has a bulb, and, and so I did turn it on. But this is all natural light in here, and I'm happy to see the ceiling fans too. Those of you that watch my videos know that I'm a big advocate of the 52-inch ceiling fan. Even though your heating and air contractor will tell you you don't need them, that's how good our systems are. Well, they uh, even make your uh, system work that much better because it moves the air around, keeps you more comfortable than just the main system will do. And of course, it, it also is economical because you can uh, lower your temperatures by, uh, oh, couple of degrees, I guess, and saves you money on your thermostat. Okay, so here's our second floor hallway running straight across the middle of the house above the downstairs foyer. We have two bedrooms to the back and we have a bedroom to the front or two bedrooms to the front. Well, let's count them together. Here we have one to the front, <laughs> excuse me, to the back. It has a private bathroom. You can see that this is a big room. Once again, with a ceiling fan, we have a uh, what looks like two closets here. Well, it's really one big closet that goes across from left to right. And you just have the four doors that open to that closet. This room has a big water and golf course view. Uh, I never get tired of looking at that. Many people wouldn't either. And here's our private bathroom with good quality. We have a tile floor, which is ceramic looking like limestone. Very attractive. It's got the sandy color that people like. We have the light brown cabinets that people like. We have the same cultured marble vanity top with the integral basin that we saw in the other bathroom. Fixed wall mirror. Very nice. Then we have a cultured marble surround in our uh, tub shower here. We have a tub down below, your basic wall shower, but you have those are those slabs are cultured marble like what we saw here on the uh, countertop and one of the reasons people like cultured marble in their showers is because like like stone it comes in big slabs so you don't have the grout lines that you have with tile makes it easier to clean it has a real clean look and I think that you can see that from this picture well this is our third bedroom and third bathroom. The master's on the first floor. Bedroom two over the garage. We're leaving bedroom three. Let's call this next one across the hall here bedroom four. No lamps in here. Just a good sized bedroom with some beveled corners here giving it a little bit of architectural interest. Two windows to the front of the house. and a closet. Now you have a bathroom here. Some people call this a Jack and Jill bathroom with uh, two lavatories, tiled floor, same quality that we've seen throughout. Attractive cabinets, fixed wall mirrors. And then on this side, your commode and the shower with the Frame door and panel, tile surround, looking very nice. This Jack and Jill bathroom connecting through to bedroom number four. Bedroom number four, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and much like bedroom number three, but it has a little bigger closet there. Well, a different kind, not really bigger. It's a, it's a walk-in closet and with pocket doors. We saw in the other one it had the four doors that come across. Good closets in this house. Big house, this is a big family house, big luxury family house. Double pocket doors, Jack and Jill bathroom over here. These rooms are good sized. We're gonna come back to our second floor living room in just a moment. And then bedroom five is here to the back left of the house over our master bedroom. It's a beauty too. It's set up with the twin beds, your triple windows back here, two casements, a fixed window in the middle. Beautiful view of the water and the golf. 
Just don't get tired of that. Most people don't. <clears throat> and the private bathroom over here to the right, the same quality that you've gotten used to, just another ho-hum beautiful bathroom. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. I mean, uh, you know, tile, beautiful maple cabinets, uh, cultured marble. This is high quality throughout. High quality throughout, ladies and gentlemen. I really like the cultured marble vanity top with the integral basin. Very uh, fresh looking. Again, this house was built in 2004, but it could have been built yesterday in many ways. And you have windows in both of these bathrooms. Let's go see this second floor living room, which is uh, also something of an open office. But oftentimes when you have a, a big family home, you look for a second floor meeting place. <clears throat> well, this is uh, quite a meeting place here. This is a full room, the central part of the second floor here over the living room. And open to your second floor hallway. Well, it's set up as a combination living room den with the living on this side. The den part there with the desk. And I guess you could even say game room here with the checkerboard. Well, when you own the house, you can decorate it however you want. The uh, designer is just giving suggestions. And how about this view? Oh yeah, it's even better from up here. Many people like water. Because of the wildlife and just the calming benefits of looking at a still pond, the reflection of the sky. And because it is so wide open back here, you do have big sky, big sky view. Your nearest neighbor is quite a distance across the golf course. Great location. Now the size of this lot is uh, 0.43 acres. So it's pretty good size. You'll see that in most full size Hilton Head homes, most full size Hilton Head lots are between 0.4 to 0.6. 0.6 being definitely on the large side and 0.4 being more common, but a large lot for sure. Large enough for many people. This house again having 4,126 square feet for sale at $739,000. Well, let's uh, go downstairs and finish up. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. And my company is Go Gated Realty. And once again, I'm showing you this house as a buyer's agent with 39 years of local Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience. Many of you tell me that the uh, task of finding the right home and community that's best for you is overwhelming. And that's why I'm here, because I'm not here to promote or be a cheerleader for any particular house or community. I work for you. I'm showing you this house as a luxury buyer who is, uh, I like this house, but of course before we write a contract on anything we want to shop and compare and that's what I'm here to do for you, is to help you in every way, help you uh, get the answers to the questions that you have, the concerns you have, and to make sure that what you buy is what you want. No regrets. And I've been doing this for a long time, and of course I'd very much enjoy hearing from you about your interests, what you're looking for, your lifestyle, your budget, the kind of neighborhood that you'd like to have. And uh, let me set you up with a list of homes and uh, properties that will meet your needs in a format that will update automatically with new listings, price changes. I know many of you are shopping these mega sites and as good as they are, I have to tell you if you haven't learned already that they do not have accurate inventories. What they generally are designed to do aside from make money is to connect you up with an agent. And that's the darndest thing about those websites is that there's lots of information there about 
homes, many unanswered questions as well, but very little about agents. So please keep me in mind when you're uh, ready to call an agent to help you with your search, and I'd be very happy to hear from you. And again, my cell number, 843-684-2933, and my email address, rich at gogated.com. And you can, of course, search all homes in Hampton Hall on your own at any time at gogated.com. But give me a call, please. And uh, let's talk. Drop me an email. Tell me what you're looking for. Let's work together to find it here in 2015. Well, 2014 was sure a good year for real estate here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a good year. And 2015 is going to be even better. Even better. We are in recovery mode and... We're going to continue to see the recovery in 2015. I personally believe that the best is yet to come for all of us. I hope you believe that too. Well, let's just walk around and finish up. Uh, thank you very much for uh, looking at this beautiful house with me today. This is the biggest house for sale in Hampton Hall today. Big family home could be right for you. Obviously, uh, by watching this video, you're interested in a large home, a luxury home. And Hampton Hall is really a great place to live. People here just love it. It's uh, luxurious, but not uh, overly expensive in terms of your amenity. Again, that annual HOA fee is just $3,606 a year. The uh, tennis courts, the fitness center, the swimming pool, indoor and outdoor pool, are really everything that you have in your highest end communities, just not as expensive. What a beautiful house. Well, thank you again for taking this tour with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to hearing from you. Again, this is 65 Shelburne Street in Hampton Hall. And we're looking at it on January 1st, 2015. Well, Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you again. I look forward to hearing from you.